Welcome back to my brutal difficulty walkthrough for Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. This is chapter number 14, cruising for a bruising, and this chapter is tough. Fortunately it's not very very long, but you might die quite a few times here. There's one section in particular that can be very troublesome. As you can see we're on board the Titanic. But before we head to the upper deck, we're going to get the second treasure, it's right here in the corner. Crap, it's blocked. And now we need to jump to that boat, so that we can move on up. The annoying thing about this chapter, or the biggest issue with this chapter is the fact that waves will crash against the ship and that will make Drake move around and he will leave himself wide open to the enemy and on Brutal that's pretty much a death sentence. Let's just get this guy. Goodbye Jack. I won't let go. And here comes the hard part, this next section. Okay, okay, let's take a look. So much for stealth. Okay, so we're going to stay behind here and if we shoot the enemies, two of them will try to flank you right away and you will die very quickly. If you want to avoid moving around, just hold on to the crate and that will prevent you from moving around. That's not good. That's what you get. And there's going to be an enemy with a heavy armor up next. That guy can take a lot of punishment. So... After we finish off this guy, that guy will appear, so we're going to move behind this crate right here and we're going to immediately throw a grenade as soon as he jumps down. Where did that thing come from? And now we're going to open fire, stay here in the corner, he should throw grenades at you, he can throw three grenades at the same time. Just keep shooting, but when he starts moving forward, you should head to safety, otherwise you'll die instantly so now let's hide behind here and we're just going to pick off the enemies one by one should be appearing any time now but there's also a second wave of enemies that appears come on just die I don't want him to flank me otherwise I'll be in trouble there we go If we stay here it's a pretty good cover spot because all the enemies will come from the same side so we can use this area to our advantage and just finish off the enemies one by one. There should be a few more though. Okay here he comes, let's hide here. Okay, and now the last wave of enemies should be coming. This section is very tough. Okay, I don't want any of them to escape because if they flank me I'm done for. Let's get that guy. Let's close. Oh, there's two of them here. I thought there would only be one, but why would things be any easier, really? <laughs> Let's take care of that guy, or both of them. You can't catch a break. Whenever they're about to throw a grenade, that's a pretty good opportunity that you have to shoot them. Okay, that guy's down as well. 
and there we go so we cleared this area in my opinion this segment right here was the hardest of the chapter the next segment isn't easy however as well I don't think there's any more enemies I'm glad this section's over. And there's a grenade launcher for us there, but before we move on ahead, there's one more treasure for us to pick up. So let's get that first. Almost forgot about it. It's in the middle of these crates. Right in the end, there we go. And now, it's not a bad idea to save your game here. I'm going to save it after I get the fourth treasure and there's also an additional treasure that you can get which is called the Marco Solo just jump into the pool Drake will say Marco and that will trigger the appearance of the trophy I already collected it that's why you won't see it here it's a reference to Uncharted 2 when Drake jumped into the pool and he said Marco and Chloe answered Polo and you got the trophy well here you get the trophy as well take care of this guy and we're not going to be stealthy at all because there's no point we're just going to stay here and pick off the enemies one by one and if we stay here and shoot them quickly we should be just fine can't believe I wasted a grenade launcher shot there so that guy. this section is also tough and the fact that the ship is moving from one side to the other really doesn't help either. Overall, from chapter 12 to chapter 15, on Brutal this game can be quite a pain. But we're good so far. There we go, almost there don't think there's any more but now when we move down there's going to that's going to trigger the appearance of three snipers one of them as a grenade launcher and then there's going to be two more waves of enemies but we're going to hide behind these crates and pick them off one by one we are down we are down that way I make sure you can't catch me and now all the enemies are going to jump down from up there so if you can shoot them before they jump down that's great because they won't be able to get close but there's two armored enemies and you can't get those oh and that was a huge risk here oh I don't want to die if I hadn't shot that guy right now I would be dead I most certainly need to take care of the guy throwing grenades That guy's still alive, Bob. Okay, let's take care of that guy up there. One more. We're almost in the clear here. Let's use a couple of grenades. That got him good. There's going to be three more enemies. They're going to come from that door. That's where we need to head to. So we're going to hide behind here, wait for them to open the door and then just pick them off one by one. If we stay here, we have a pretty good cover. And we should be able to shoot them before they start shooting at us. Come on. Okay, that's all of them. Phew. And the hard section of this chapter is over. Still have a few more treasures to collect, but we won't have any major fights. So, if you pass this segment, congratulations. Give yourself a pat on the back. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. 
Let's move out. There's a treasure here, make sure you get it. And now there's going to be another treasure at the end of this corridor. But there's an enemy here, we're going to finish him off first. And treasure number 6 in this chapter is right here in the corner. There we go. Okay, let's try and catch this guy. Oh, come on, Drake, what are you doing? I almost died here. That was close. I hate how... Sometimes it's like he gets stuck because I moved forward but he didn't respond and instead he threw a punch and that almost cost me this chapter. It would be really annoying to start over again. Okay, you're down. Two more treasures for us to collect. It's gotta be down this way. We'll just jump down here. Here's treasure number eight. And now we can collect treasure number nine and then we're out of here. Actually, we're still in the Titanic in the next chapter, but I'll worry about that <laughs> once I start playing that chapter. Okay, so just drop down here and this will conclude this chapter it was a tough chapter for sure but we made it as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all later for the next part soon take care sully sully he's not here Nason, you have given me so much trouble. I promise you, we're gonna end it now. You never had him, did you? Of course you not. I lied. Remember? I'm a pirate. Your life's good. <laughs> yeah, that's right, buddy. Keep laughing. Sora! So